Oh, my queen, said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. for Auto Club president. It's a big fuss. I'm familiar with Mac. He's one of my students. What's all the fuss about? Do you know Freddy? Mm, name doesn't ring a bell. I'll stop by and introduce you. Fine. Thomas, Frederica Carlson. She's what the big fuss is all about. Hi, Miss Thomas. Cindy told you about the auto club election? Yes, now I understand what the fuss is about. We've never had a girl run for auto club president before. It's not such a big deal. I helped my dad out at the garage here, but I guess some of the boys don't think that girls are fit to mess with cars. Freddie's going to show me how to fix a flat tire in case of emergency. Great. Listen, I have this letter to mail. Excuse me? Sure, Miss Thomas. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Freddie. Back short. You like her? She's neat. Told you. Uh oh. Hi, Miss Thomas. Matt. If it isn't Mr. Hot Rod himself. Hi, girls. Where's your sports car, Mac? I hardly recognize you without it. Hmm. I came to pick up my dad's station wagon. I can't exactly drive two cars at once, can I? Where's your dad? He took the day off. Oh, no. Well, what's the matter? Don't you trust me to rotate a set of tires? You worked on my dad's car? Why not? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, as long as you didn't touch the engine. Oh, that reminds me. I think your carburetor's off and needs adjustment. There's nothing wrong with the carburetor. I checked it myself. Besides, I don't think you know a carburetor from a piston rod. Talk about a chauvinist pig. That's me. Oink, oink. Very funny. It wasn't me who left that gas can there. Some auto club president you'd make. Mac Leonard! Mac's right. A good mechanic is always responsible for whatever happens in your shop. 
I guess you're right, Isis. I'll go get a mop and clean this up. I'll help you. That's telling her. Maybe now she'll leave mechanics to her dad. It's just as much your fault. Careless driving is a sure way to get yourself or somebody else hurt. Oh, Isis. I think you owe Freddie a hand while I call the police department and tell them everything is all right here. Girls. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Todd. OK. What's this about? This whole thing is stupid. Freddie's not qualified to run for Auto Club president, and she knows it. I'm just as qualified as you are. As Auto Club advisor, mind if I butt in? Dr. Barnes, please. Now then, just why are you so sure that Freddie isn't qualified, Mac? Because she's a girl? Here we go again. Mac, that attitude is pretty old-fashioned. Being a mechanic is a man's job. Did I hear something about a man's job? Cookies, anyone? Sure. Mm, they look good. Thank you. There they are. Permission? Mm. Mmm, Mrs. Livingston's home ec class is finally paying off. <coughs> I hear you, Ted. <coughs> <coughs> Say, I've heard about this rivalry. You could solve the problem with a rally. Then the loser could drop out of the election. You mean a race? No, a rally. That's a terrific idea, Rick. What's a rally? It's a timed course where you follow a map, but you don't race for speed. It's a test of skill and driving ability. Can you handle it? Okay, Mr. Mason. Freddy, you're on. Hey, girl driver. Give up yet? You want your carburetor fixed, or did you just come by to blow off hot air? Ah, temper, temper. Maybe you're right. I guess he is scared. Who's scared? Not me. Prove it. You bet I will. Oh, no sissy rally. I'm in a drag race right now. On the street? Right, on the street. Come on, Mac. Hey, Cindy, you keep out of this. Chicken? You've been asking for it. No, Freddy. I know what I'm doing. You're going crazy. Somebody's got to teach him a lesson. Freddy, please don't. It's okay. Ready when you are. All right, I'm ready. No, Freddy. Cindy, give me the key. No, I won't. Only fools race in the street, not auto club presidents. Give it to me. Please, Freddy. You know better. Okay, Cindy. I'm not going to lose my driver's license because of you. <laughs> I knew it. You are chicken. Yeah? We'll just see about that. I'm going to run rings around you at that rally. No girl is going to beat me. You prove it. If you've got the nerve to show up. You'll see. Here are the maps and timesheets for the first heat. Thanks. You'll have the first checkpoint, Andrea, then Rick, Cindy and I will be at the finish line. That means Mac starts first and then Freddy. Right, five minutes apart. Let's synchronize our watches. In five seconds, it'll be five minutes after the hour. Mark. Okay. Now remember, this is not a race. It's a test for accuracy of being able to pass your checkpoints at the right time. Freddy, Mac, into your cars. And remember, rallying tests your skill at following maps and in safe driving. Nobody wins points for racing. Well, that's it then. May the best man, oops, I mean, best person win. On your mark, get set, go. Turn up left fork at Logan City side. Good luck, Freddy.
day, she'll be by a little later. Unless she's lost. Yeah. Drive safely. You ready? Go. I might as well give up. Now, that's just the attitude that Mac expects. Don't be a quitter. Freddie, you still have a chance. OK, I'll show him. Atta girl. You ready? Get set. Go! Just doesn't sound right. That sign was there when Rick and I drove by. Hmm. Mighty ice, 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 ice. needs a little lesson in cooperation and fair play. Oh, Zephyr winds which blow on high, look me now so I can fly. Block that road across your brow. Very good. Now, up that road. That's fine. Problem to bring two people together. Need some help? No, I'm doing just fine myself. Hi, Miss Thomas. Hello, Miss Thomas. Hello, you two. Looks like you have a problem. Yeah, you can say that again. I've got some chains, but I don't think Mac wants any help from a girl. That's too bad. If you two can't cooperate, then that's it for the rally. You'll both lose. That's not fair. There's nothing I can do except tell Mr. Mason and Dr. Barnes. OK, well, we'll use your chains and we'll move this pole together. Good idea. See you at Mr. Mason's checkpoint. Come on. Hey. Uh, 
Thanks for not spilling the beans about the signpost. Signpost? I knocked down the Logan City sign so you wouldn't see it. So that's how I got lost. Yeah, it was a dumb trick. Sure was. Oh, come on, let's forget it. Let's start fresh from here. You mean you aren't going to get mad and cry or anything? <laughs> Look, do you want to finish this rally or don't you? Sure. Well, then let's move it. Well, all right, but I'm going to beat you. You'll see. They're both going to be a little late. You know something I don't? I do. Ran across Freddie and Mac about five miles back. They're working on a problem. But they should be solving it about now. Okay. Let's go. Now you go first, Freddie, and I'll follow you in exactly five minutes as the rules say. No tricks this time. Thank you, Mac. Good luck. I have 2.13 exactly. So have I. That was a nice gesture of you to let Freddie go first. I'm glad you made friends. Thanks, Miss Thomas. She's not so bad. For a girl. Okay. On your mark, get set. Go. Well, we better get to the last checkpoint. Right. I'd say you did quite well, Freddy. As soon as Mac arrives, we'll add up the score. Let's go. Isis, thank you. Thank you very much. This caused your blowout. Oh, it must have been that sign. Well, you're going to have a lot to tell your friends when they get here. Next thing I knew, Isis slowed down the fall of the car, and I drifted down to the ground just as gentle as a feather. Well, we can all be thankful that Isis was there to save you. Of course, none of that would have been necessary if you hadn't knocked down that sign and got a nail in your tire. I realize that, Dr. Barnes. Another thing, you're going to have to forfeit the rally. Well, Freddie deserves to win. She's a darn good sport. surprised and pleased to hear you say that. Uh, Freddie's also a darn good driver. Well, then, what about her running for auto club president? How about her running for president? Well, she's got my vote.
In today's story, Mac learned that Freddie can drive just as well as he can, even though she is a girl. Not too many years ago, there were a lot of jobs that people thought were just for men. But times are changing, and today there are no jobs that are not open to qualified people, whether they be men or women. Each of us should have the chance to do whatever we dream, be it mechanic, astronaut, or president of the United States. See you next week. Thank you.